Hold it with the ball without really threatening them. Second half, it was very much uh, defending crosses for 45 minutes. But even then, I have to massively like give my team credit. The way they defended the box tonight and the blocks that they put in and the passion they had to keep a clean sheet and they put their bodies on the line was incredible. Um, did we? Sometimes you can go into a game, not play well, don't deserve to win, and you can come out of a result. Sometimes you can go into a game, play really well, and not come out of a result. <laughs> Obviously, I'd love us to play well and win, um, but the three points is massive for us in terms of momentum. So, yeah, really pleased with, with that. Uh, Casey, both goal scorers came off the bench. Can you talk a little bit about what you saw and, and the substitutions and how that turned things around? Yeah, we always talk about how important our game changes are. Um, I could see that you know Amira was struggling in the first half I thought she got fatigued quite quickly and hence why she was making tackles late and I couldn't risk leaving her out there on a yellow card um, and I thought Sophia could come on and bring us a little bit of energy and ability to run at players and get the ball and get us up the pitch um, and Mackenzie I felt that in that moment there was pockets either side of their midfield that she could utilise and get in spaces. And I, I needed us to keep the ball better. We did not keep the ball well. And Mackenzie keeps the ball really, really well for us. And she, you know, I thought she enabled us to get up the pitch. And obviously she got a goal. And, and yeah, she's a, a fantastic player for us. Thank you. Uh, that huge derby today, derby day. Uh, can you talk to me what it was like beating Angel City for the first time in LA? Yeah, it's nice. Very nice. That's what I've got to say. <laughs> okay, so you've been a brilliant coach for quite some time. Um, why the cooler? <laughs> yeah, to be, it was a very purposeful, driven decision by me to sit on a cooler. <laughs> um, and I'll tell you why, I'll, I'll give you my reasons. Um, I like to be close to the field so that yeah. I can give instructions. If, if some benches are so far away, and I also don't want to be stood for 90 minutes because I've played for a long time, my back gets sore. And I, I still want an element of calmness on the sideline. Like sometimes I can get a bit irate right if the officials aren't great. Um, <laughs> but I'm working on that. Um, so it, it's a conscious decision to sit down, but also still be close to the field. And that was the best way to do it. Where do we sign the petition to get you a chair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I'm happy with a cooler, it's comfortable. Someone even got me a heater for it back in England. So yeah, <laughs> heated seat. Yeah, well, listen, I thought Angel City were very unlucky tonight. Um, they're an exceptional side. They work very hard. They created chances. And we actually had Alyssa training in our environment last year. So I've seen her close hand. And she's a very, very talented youngster. You know, the ability to carry the ball at pace the way she does. Um, she's got a very bright future. Um, and we've got one of the one of the brightest in ours with, with Jaden as well. So the... The future of American soccer, you know, with also we've got Mel in our squad who's 15, and I think the future of American soccer is very, very bright because there's so many really, really bright, intelligent um, soccer players coming through the youth ranks. Hi, what did you learn from Alyssa when she was in your environment that helped you maybe slow her down today? <laughs> did we slow it? I think it helps. We've got Naomi Germa. Um, I think she's one of the best centre backs in the world, and I think, you know, Kaylee Real did exceptionally well against her tonight. And when she countered, Kristen Westfall matched her and slowed her down. So I think what we knew is she's going to carry the ball. We're going to always have enough security underneath her so that she's never left one v one. That's the worst thing you could ever do. He wants to start us off, Sophia. You got the game winner today and the great goal this season. How did it feel? Super great. Um, I had my birthday today too, so it was <laughs> extra special to score on my birthday and uh, obviously come away with three points. So I'm super happy. And Naomi, you got um, the defensive line, no, no shots on goal the first half. Can you talk to me? What, what went so well for the defense today? Yeah, I think just staying organized. Um, a lot of times we talk about when we're defending the box in our defensive shape, it's the whole team together, not just the back line. So I think everyone working back and making sure we're blocking shots, blocking crosses, doing whatever we can to keep the ball out of the net. Scott? Um, does this game mean, uh, all games mean a lot. Does this game mean a little more because of the rivalry for you guys? Is winning this game more special? I think, yeah, I think 
it's always a good feeling to win a rivalry and us in LA we've only been in the league for it's only our second year but I think it's already become one of the biggest rival, rivalries in the league so um, it's a really good feeling to come to the stadium um, it was great atmosphere great fans um, and come away with a win Yeah, I think just um, making sure we stayed compact um, and knowing their strengths in the box, just um, denying crosses and making sure we were not leaving anyone in 1v1 situations to keep the ball out of the box was really big for us. And then um, if the ball did come in, just getting big, putting your body on the line and um, doing anything to block a shot. Yeah, it's a hard question to answer <laughs> for question. me in English, but <laughs> <laughs> um, I think in the second, uh, the first half, we had hard to uh, keep the ball when we won it, and I think Angel City was pressing us a lot. But I also think we was defending, like Ney was saying, like really well in the box, and they only had one shot on goal, so. I think that was it, but you can probably describe it a little yeah, bit Yeah, I think, um, like Sov said, just when we didn't have the ball for spells of time, just staying disciplined um, and trusting our defensive shape uh, and trusting that we'd win it back and get our chances on goal, which we did um, with two good finishes. So, yeah, I think just um, staying disciplined in our defensive shape was huge for us tonight. Um, for either one of you, just for women's soccer, Yeah, I have played against her a couple of times, and she is obviously a super good player. And with game time, she will be could be going to uh, the World Cup, and she is an uh, amazing player. And for us, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a good, <laughs> it's uh, a good. Uh, add to the to the squad and to the league also. Yeah, I think it's great to see her back playing um, in LA and just you know, doing her thing on the field in camp in April and now um, this season with Angel City. I think it's going to be exciting to see her continue to develop her game. Any other questions? Yeah, what was it like for you all playing against Alyssa Thompson for speed? How was it defending against her? Yeah, she's quick. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I think just knowing, you know, how fast she can accelerate and making sure that um, we're dropping our line quickly to kind of deny that space, um, making sure she's getting to ball to, the ball to feet instead of in behind us was um, really big for us. Um, and I think ultimately just like 1v1, I think our outside backs did a great job of uh, not giving her any clear chances, but we know she's a threat and one we have to deal with. Yeah, I didn't defend against her so much. <laughs> <laughs> I could just see yeah. some actions. I think, yeah, I think Keijo is a great player. Um, and uh, she's been doing great at, at LA. And she's so good at holding up the ball, um, making those runs in behind, and like picking, picking passes out. So I think um, she's a really good nine. And we knew that coming in. Um, we knew kind of her strengths. And we tried our best to um, just keep her out of the game as much as we could.